Good morning guys. It is a beautiful day out today, mid-May. Weather's finally starting to break and I figure it's a good time to get out in the yard and start working on some projects. So what I got going on here is something I've been wanting to do for a while and that is building an outdoor shower. So I'm already a few steps into this. I wasn't originally going to film a video of it but you know it's going to cover a lot of the different trades. Uh, obviously framing, some deck installation, we're going to do some drainage work, some plumbing for the shower valve, and there might even be some electric at the end, I might add some lights. So I figure all around might be a good video to film. And what I'm going to do now and this one is just bring you up to speed, show you what I've done so far, and the rest of it I'm going to document along the way. So as you can see here, I already have some of the framing in place. Uh, these are 4x4 four four posts, obviously the shower going to be sitting right here in this area. Let's climb up here on the deck and I can probably show you a better advantage of what this is going to look like. So it's going to reside right in this area here. Dimensions of it are going to be 32 inches long by 42 inches wide between these two posts here. So this is going to be the door obviously going into it. And it uh, should be a decent size for what I'm looking to do here. Obviously I was looking uh, from this direction here you can see that I was constrained by the window here. You kind of see this post here. I left it a little bit off the J channel for the window so if I ever have to get in here and change this thing I could do it without having to deconstruct the shower. So all these posts are going to be sleeved. You can see I put those two on already. That is mainly because the posts now are sunk in concrete. I'll get to that in a minute. But I wasn't going to be able to slide those sleeves on here like I could do here because of the soffit on the house. So a little bit of planning. And uh, basically these are just hanging in place right now with some screws here to keep them off the ground while I was setting the concrete. So they're not going to be that high. I just got them jacked up right now again to get them out of the way. So a 4x4 four four post. I uh, used a post hole digger. Dug these guys down. They're actually down three feet. Probably a little more than what you need. But the, these are um, but these are 12 foot 4x4s four four to get the height I needed. And rather than cut them, I figured I'd just dig the hole and fill them in. So four posts here. There's another post over here that we'll get to in a minute. Use 10 bags of uh, concrete mix. Got those all set. Everything all nice and plumb. Uh, those right now are just screwed into the deck. I used a couple clamps just to get them nice and plumb, like I said. And uh, we're going to be on our way here. And so basically, this section of the deck here had a section of railing like you see over here. So I took that down. And like I mentioned, the door for the shower is going to be here, and in between these two posts, I'm going to build a privacy screen when we're all done. Again, posts aren't at the right height right now. I've got to come back and measure them and cut them, and they're all going to get sleeved. The original deck framing is 2x6s, so that's what I'm going to use out here when we get to that part. That's going to be a different video. I'm going to show you how to frame this thing out. And the floor in the shower is going to be deck boards as well. So obviously that presents a little bit of an issue with the water drainage which is actually going to be the first video in this series. Uh, we got to get the water to obviously drain down through the deck boards and we have to do something here to pull the water away from the house. So right out here in the yard I'm going to be installing a drywell and we're going to run some drainage pipe from underneath the shower area out to the well to pull the water away from the foundation. Now obviously there is no handbook or directions on how to construct an outdoor shower. Each installation that you might do is going to be different. So in essence what I'm doing is I'm designing this and making it up as I go along. So when I get presented with a new problem I'm just going to find a solution for it. I'm not making a set of plans or anything for this. I'm just building it as I go. So anyway guys, just a brief introduction here of the project. Stay tuned, I'm going to have probably uh, four or five different videos covering the different trades of this project and hopefully you guys can pick up a thing or two from my videos that can help you with your project. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, stay tuned and I'll see you on the next one.